guys, up, Gang Gang. Welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing today? Guys, I'm just gonna jump right into it. As you can tell, the thumbnail and title, I ordered the worst reviewed boots on Amazon and they just got here today. Guys, I ordered them like 10 days ago and they barely got here. I, I'm pretty sure they came from China, but real quick, the reason why I bought these boots is because I was curious, all right? I'm not actually gonna wear these boots. I'm just super curious and it's right here. You can already tell they look super weird, like all square and fat and kind of ugly. But guys, these boots cost me $70. Square toe boots. And you guys know square toe boots are not 70 bucks. Any square toe boot that's like comfortable and like and that's decent costs at least 150 and up. Unless you get some good ones like in Mexico and shit for like 100 bucks, blah blah blah. But come on, $70 for a pair of square toes. You got me effed up. That's not gonna fly. So I ran into these on Amazon and I was like, dude, I had to order these and just take a look at them because Come on, 70 bucks. Look at this. Look at this. Oh no. I can't wait to put these on. I haven't, I swear on my mama, I haven't even put these on my feet. To be honest, guys, I don't even know if these are gonna fit me. Just just by looking at them, they look pretty small. I'm an eight and a half. I ordered them as an eight and a half, but these legit look like a seven because yeah, these I don't know. If they do fit, they're gonna fit me pretty tight. But yes. $70 for a pair of square toes. Yes, they look ugly, I know, but that's the point. I know they're ugly, but you're gonna get what you paid for. I mean, come on. There's 70 bucks, guys. Like, that's crazy. Guys, I just remember for 70 bucks, you're better off getting a pair of like botines or something. Like, those are way more common. You see those everywhere. Like, mostly people who like bug bulls or like ride horses or honestly, anybody. Like, I feel like I see more botines than cheap ass square toes. Like, I'd rather get some botines than these $70 boots, straight up. Like, I would not buy these. But I already bought them, so. Before we get into it, I wanted to read some reviews on Amazon because yes, people do leave reviews on the products, so let's get into it. Damn, so right off the bat, you can tell that these boots are not gonna last. Look at that picture. The whole bottom piece is coming off. Purchase these on October 20th. By the middle of December, they are unwearable. They were worn by 13 year old, 13 year old and not every day. They can't handle the use of a teenager. Can only imagine how long they would last with an adult. <laughs> for real. Don't give me these boots because I'll tore these up like you won my lala. I have had these boots for more than two months and they're already breaking. Damn, look at that picture though. They're like broken inside, like what the hell? That shit looks nasty as hell. It looks all pudrido and shit, huh? Ugh. All right, guys, so another one. One star, do not buy. The worst quality boot I have ever purchased. I expected a lot more from Roper in two months. They have completely fallen apart, almost to point of needing to be thrown away. I should have paid more attention to the description before buying because it does say it's fox leather. I guess I just expected more from a name like Roper, and this has ended my business with him. Bro, you swear, like, you're paying $70 for a pair of boots. What the hell do you expect? I feel like people are so like, oh my god. If I would honestly wear these, like, to wear them, they would not last me at all because they feel light. They're freaking cheaply made. I don't know. All right, another one. It says, okay, it's one star. Don't buy these. These suck. They didn't even last me a month. Waste of money. Damn, bro, what are you doing to your boots? Dude, it legit looks like he's been biting on the boot or something. Damn, that thing is ripped like crazy. Like the whole front piece is like, God damn, bro. What the hell are you doing to him? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, straight up. Like, they don't look that bad. Like, they don't look like, like with some jeans over them and stuff and just kind of showing the bottom piece like that because like, you know, like when you wear your jeans over them, when you kind of like this piece shows, I feel like it can kind of blend in pretty good like with the crowd and stuff like they're not that bad but if you feel them they're super super light and like you can tell like they're kind of like little toy boots but they're not gonna last I don't know what people expect from 70 bucks you're buying them on Amazon like they're you know what I'm saying like ooh. very poor quality would not recommend my son has had these for a month and a half he got them for Christmas and they're already wearing out in the toes of each boot for the price they out to last longer. What the hell? For the price they out to last longer. Uh, 
okay, whatever. Cold Stiffy, one star, he said, they are complete crap. My son got them for Christmas 2017, lasted three weeks, complete junk, came apart, stay away. Stay away. <laughs> Don't get these. I bet you a lot of people are going to go on Amazon and be like, dude, I'm going to get those 70 bucks. I'm going to save some cash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you guys want to buy them, go ahead. I'm just giving you guys my personal opinion. Don't sue me. All right. They are super light. That's one thing. Like I said, that they feel like a toy boot. But look wise, I'll give it. From 1 through 10, I'll give it like a 7 because they don't look that bad, but they are pretty ugly to me. I mean, to me, they're pretty ugly. I wouldn't get these, but I give it a 7, and that's not even that bad. I feel like, you know, a 7 is pretty, pretty good. But on the description, it does say it's leather. My boy, let me tell you right now, these babies are not leather. This is pleather. Pleather, all right? If you guys don't know what pleather is, it's plastic. Okay, these are, this is not. Like, you know when you buy a fresh pair of boots, it smells like leather? Like, this smells like plastic. These ain't leather. These smell like shoes. If that make, does that make sense? Like, when you buy boots and you open up that box, it's gonna smell like boots. These don't smell like that. I'll tell you that right now. And what else? I just feel like, honestly, guys, they're just super cheaply made. They're not, they're not made like a good boot, comfortable boot should. Um, the stitching, to like, I can like peel it off. I'm well, not peel it off, but like rip off the stitching right there. But the stitching is pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there's not much to say. I think like the only way to find out how they actually feels to put them on and how they last. I feel like I kind of feel like they are gonna like, rip after a while. Like I said, they're super light. That's one main thing that you're gonna have to watch out for because these are super light and boots are not supposed to be, I mean, at least this light, this was like a toy, you know? They do have the rubber bottoms. I've never had boots like this. Uh, usually I have like the flat, you know, like just the wood, flat wood part. That's actually pretty cool. I've been wanting to buy some rubber bottoms. I want to try them on. Guys, I'm freaking nervous. Okay, so let me take this off. Oh my god, wish me. Well, these better fit me. If not, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, I'm. Ooh! Oh <laughs> damn! Dude, they're pretty comfortable. Holy shit! No freaking way! <laughs> Oh my god! What the hell? They're actually pretty comfortable! Oh snap! Oh my god! Dude, let me put the other one on real quick. Guys, I am freaking super surprised right now. These actually fit pretty freaking snug on me. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were gonna fit super tight just because they look, oh my God. Dude, no freaking way. These fit super comfortable. Well, I mean, they are a little kind of like loose from right here. I don't know why they keep on sliding. They kind of slide. Like, does that make sense? They're snug, but they kind of, like, they slide from back here. I don't know why it's doing that, but other than that, guys, I mean, look-wise, like I said, they're, they're pretty cool. They're not, like, super, super bad looking, but they're super comfortable. They're pretty comfortable. They're not, they're not, like, tight. What do you guys think? Honestly, comment down below right now. $70 square toes. Uh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see them. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know, but like they do have kind of like a little plastic noise. Like. They sound like rubber. And that's exactly what I was saying. Like they, they feel like a toy, like a rubber toy. Like they're pleather basically. And look at these. 
They're like super squeaky. I mean, honestly, guys, the only thing I like about them is that they do fit kind of comfortable, but they are kind of ugly looking. Like, they kind of look like rain boots to me, just because the color is like super, I don't know, like yellowish. Like, now I know why people were leaving those bad reviews saying, like, that the boots were ripping, like, in two weeks, because they do feel like they'll rip in, like, three weeks tops. Like, if you're gonna be using these for, like, work or, like, for, like, an everyday use, these will not last you three weeks tops, honestly. For 70 bucks, guys, these ain't that bad, like, 70 bucks. So, if you guys want to get some $70 <laughs> square toes... I wouldn't recommend it, but this is what you'll get. I'm not gonna lie, with some jeans, they do look pretty cool. Like, you know, with jeans, it's gonna cover this whole part, so, you know, like that. I roll these up because my jeans are kind of long, but if you didn't roll them up, and these are boot cut jeans, so if you didn't roll them up, they look like that. Sorry, pretty, they're kind of dirty right now, but they're not that bad looking when you. Put the jeans over them. <sighs> Real quick, guys. This is how they look. See how kind of like they crease in though? Like, that looks ugly. These are toy boots. So, guys, my last final thoughts on these boots. La neta, like I said, I mean, they just crease too much. They feel like they won't protect anything. They're just cheaply made, guys, but they're not as uncomfortable as I thought they were gonna be. They actually fit pretty snug, like in this area. But in the back, I don't know if, that, see, it's cause I don't know if that makes sense. Like they're snug, like in the front, but in the back, they kind of slide a little bit on the heel. They're just not gonna last you, honestly. They're cheaply made. Don't get these. <laughs> and that's an end to this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, um, let me know down below and I will do more videos. But other than that, guys, Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and I will see you guys on my next video.